Welcome back YouTube. We getting ready to work on some Thanksgiving dinner here. I've had the turkey out thawing. You see Grace has got some gizzards and stuff here. Hey Grace, what's this little um, glass pan for? I will put all those chops. Well, because I know it ain't for um, my dressing because that ain't a big enough big enough pan for my dressing. Oh, this pan. Oh, okay, that'll work then. Cause I only get dressing twice a year, and they they should at least have something once a month where somebody got to cook dressing instead of just at Thanksgiving and Christmas. But anyhow, we can get busy cooking here and try to get everything set up and get the turkey in the oven, and we'll try to share our uh. Thanksgiving dinner and stuff with you. Have to excuse the house, it's a mess, but we're doing what we can. Nadine, your mama's fixing to open this big chicken. Hey, Grace. Hmm. I was just looking at that tag. That tag said that turkey. Do you think you got one big enough? It said that turkey weighed 25 pounds. It said 12 pounds. Which one is Yeah, and right there it says 25 pounds. I always used to get 16 to 18 pound turkey. When you get a turkey, you sure enough get a turkey. For a little person, you must be to eat a lot of turkey. They have a good deal. They have lots of water, that's why it's 25 pounds. Oh, they filled him up with water to make him weigh more, eh? Oh, they have lots of water. Look, they fill it up with water so it will become 25 pounds. All right, well. Let's look at the chicken and now it's real big. Look. Ooh. A big chicken. I need to get the neck. It's still frozen. I know one inside. thing, you sure could have a big enough turkey. <laughs> what you Mommy. having? Te technical difficulties? Mm -hmm. Hey, Grace. What's that? They forgot to take the eye out of this turkey that they shot him with. <laughs> they left the eye ring that they took him out with. Man, they couldn't remove the arrow. It's still frozen inside. Well, you got to get it out of there because we got to cook this turkey to D. I reckon I'm going to have to get that and operate on him. They don't tear the turkey all up now. All right, it was a wrestling job. But I got that neck and stuff out of him, and we got him almost ready to go in the oven there now. Fixing to put him in. She's over there chopping up some stuff to make some gentleman. I want to Some gentleman gravy, Nadine. Got the dressing mixed up. Dressing, stuffing, whichever one you want to call it. Oh, boy, we're working on the dressing there now. Sure, find, glad you found a big enough uh, pan to cook my dressing in. Always complaining about dressing there. Yeah, because I always run out of dressing every year. You, you make a little pan of dressing, then when everybody eats, um, they like my dressing. then they don't hardly have no dressing left. Because they complaining about other dressing and they like it. Oh boy, I'll be eating dressing this evening. All right, I got the gravy done. And we fixing to add the boiled eggs to it. I'm gonna make us up some diddling gravy, however you wanna say it, to go with uh, dressing and the rice. Put some gizzards in there. Or livers. Now these are livers. The smaller diced up ones is the gizzard. That with the onions, we could put all this in that gravy and salt and pepper that thing. We'll have us some jittering gravy here in a little while. We working on it, you two. Let's hope everybody out there is enjoying their Thanksgiving and Remembering the ones that 
aren't with us this year that we wish could have been here and still yet though we have memories. I'm making a mess, but that's all right. We'll clean it up later. I'm going to get this into cooking. I think the wifey's done got the dressing done. I just got to work on the turkey here in a minute. Oh man, I'd almost forgot about the turkey neck and some of the turkey parts here. Wouldn't be the same without a turkey neck in that gentle and gravy. Almost to forget something there. Put a little bit of this broth in that brown gravy there too. And we could get it back up to a good boil and we'll be finished with it. Oh boy, I just pulled my turkey out the oven. And there's the arrow trying to come back out of him. I guess that's trying to mean that he's almost done there now. I just got to put him back in there and brown him a little bit. Got my gravy boiling over here again. Had to add a little bit of that broth back to the, to the gravy there. Them onions are starting to smell in there now. Man, it's starting to smell good up around here. Anyhow, we go get this turkey back in there and let him brown a little bit. Cause he's done. But man, she sure picked a big enough turkey. I can tell her that. All right, I got my turkey out of there. Grace is trying to get everything set up on the table. I almost scorched the top of him, but I caught it just in time. But uh, we're getting it set up now. I buttered him down good. Got most of that broth out of there before I put him in the oven to brown. We could get set up here and we'll be digging in and having ourselves a meal here in a little while. If I can get Grace to hurry up. While we waiting on Grace to get everything set up here, I'll tell you a little story about the first turkey I ever cooked. I got that turkey and cut the plastic wrapper from around him and everything and got in there to cook him. And I got him done. He was so brown, I mean pretty. And my mother-in-law at the time called me to see how my turkey turned out. I said, he's good and brown. I said, but people at the store ripped me off on this one because they didn't put the neck or the gizzard or anything in the bag with the turkey. And then she asked me, says, did you look on the inside? <clears throat> and I thought for a minute, I looked on the inside of the turkey after I cooked him and there was the neck and everything, but everything turned out fine because it was done too, even though it was on the inside. Even the gizzard and stuff that was in the bag was cooked well done. But anyhow, that was the first turkey that I'd ever cooked. Well, we could get everything set up here and we'll be eating in a while, but probably be eating for two or three or four days because there's only three of us here right now. No one show up. No one show up, and we got a 25-pound turkey sitting on the table. And a big old uh, platter of uh, dressing. She's got some kind of cake there. She's putting out the rice now. My uh, jittle and gravy there, I think, turned out pretty good. Got plenty of meat in it. Anyhow, we're getting set up here, and... We can try to get everything fixed up here in a minute. And Grace has got her uh, greens there. She can have all the greens she wants. Now Grace is working on that turkey. You gotta get him around his legs and then it'll come from off of there. Go ahead and carve into the breast and all that. We can worry about the rest of it there later. Some moisture inside. Yeah, it's full of moisture. Mm. Are you working on that turkey? Mm -hmm. <coughs> it feel tender. Mm -hmm. This is our simple meal we could have for the day. And I don't know what it is about Filipinas, but I have to have beans or gravy or something on my rice. 
but they can eat plain rice with nothing on it. I'm going to put in your plate. Oh, you can fix my plate since I did the turkey and the gravy. And I've been busy too. We both been busy. But anyhow, we just wanted to bring you a video of our Thanksgiving and uh, Nadine is still asleep. Nadine's still sleeping over there. She's been at it all day. She's wore out. We want to bring you a video of our Thanksgiving. Yes, us three here right now. We got a few people probably rice? coming. And they, not show up. they didn't show up, but that'll be all right. We can go ahead and eat. Well, some of, some of them still probably be on the way. But we could go ahead and start eating. I hear the dog barking now. And, uh, well, you sure giving me a lot. That's not a lot. You like that. But hope everybody out there is enjoying their Thanksgiving and remembering. Uh, this is our, there is sad because this is the first Thanksgiving without your mom. Yeah, mom, she passed and uh, two weeks ago, one of my other brothers passed and then this past weekend, another one of my brothers passed. So that's been three in the family since July. But anyhow, we give thanks for the ones that are still here with us. And we still remember the ones that aren't. But anyhow, we can wrap it up. And hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. And we'll uh, get out there and do some fishing as soon as we can. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.